Well, hello Libra. Welcome to your August of 2024 spiritual advice reading. I'm Josie Kay, your spiritual cheerleader, and this is the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck by Stacey DeMarco. So I've been guided to start out with this deck representing the Celtic spread to my left, which is going to represent finance, career, and money, which I'm feeling very, very good about for Libras. The uh, Celtic spread to my right will then represent the area of love and romance. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Libra uh, needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of spiritual advice in the area of finance, career, money in the month of August of 2024. So we have at the beginning of August a, a, a Libra here who hungers after more. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling with that card. Uh, there is this energy of self-reflection. So a message from Spirit to look at how far you've come through connections with others. You are rising into the direction of that by which you hunger for in the area of career, finance, and money. Uh, remember to reflect on how far you've come, the things that you have accomplished. Because in your foundation, you've got the fruition card. So Spirit is helping for you to step into greater doorways towards greater commitments, partnerships, contracts that you are going to be recognizing here in the beginning of August are now coming to fruition. Now, in the recent past, you may have felt like you were sitting in the darkness, but with the number 40, Spirit was giving you some very authoritative energy to create a foundation as you sit in the darkness. For the number 0 and 40 is Spirit helping you to manifest that which you hunger for. Reflect on your successes. And give yourself a pat on the back. <clears throat> for every little success in the month of August. <clears throat> now, pardon me, I expected to see her. Male or female, this is someone here who by mid-August is fully stepping into a path of her sovereignty, right? She is creating a foundation that is stable and secure, and she is feeling like the king or queen of her path. She is coming out of darkness and is going into the direction of what she hungers for. She's watching this come to fruition in her foundation, in her life. So when it comes to your actions, Libra, in the month of August, Spirit is saying in the actions position, you are protected. Reflect on your accomplishments, on the doorways, on the opportunities that are developing and coming to fruition in your life. For in the spiritual assistance position, Spirit is saying, trust and have faith that you are now this queen, walking in purity and integrity, going into the direction of a new chapter by which you hunger for. As things come to fruition, trust that your actions are being protected, that you are being guided. In the hopes and fears position, we have the path energy. So we have uh, someone here who's recognizing it's time to climb that ladder up into the direction of a higher, better, better path of existence. She's kind of just looking at this with her hands behind her back and she's relishing the opportunity. So Spirit's saying, don't fear the opportunity that is coming to fruition. Step into sovereignty. Climb that ladder. Acknowledge the wisdom and knowledge whereby Spirit is trying to bring to your attention. By the end of August of 2024, we do have this masculine energy. This could be you or someone else watching a person rise to a path of greater abundance, trusting that Spirit is helping you to reflect positively. <clears throat> Pardon me, lots of readings today on um, how far you've come. So I do feel like a masculine is watching another person here step into their sovereignty, into their purpose, and, and doing very well, I must say. So we have beauty. Law of Attraction is guiding the collective Libras in the month of August to understand how far you've come and that you have free will to... Create what Spirit's helping you with. So they're saying, we are blessing you, we're protecting you, and it's up to you to continue to take action. You're going to feel more and more at peace here <clears throat> because you're feeling very beautiful and you are drawing this law of attraction towards you. A brand new path as you sit in the void of this new beginning, 
with that number one. There is going to come some form of awareness uh, that your passion is growing in this time of change. So uh, if you've been with me over the last month or so, change has been a big word in all these readings. And now there's a call to action. Coming to the realization that you can now release what was in a balanced way and accept what now will be. So this feminine, uh, this king or queen here is stepping into their power and recognizing that uh, throughout and by the end of August of 2024. And Spirit saying, do not fear what lies ahead of you because we have the number six. We have success. We have harmony. We have victory. So what's most important is to love yourself and reflect positively on the new beginning that is unfolding or new beginnings. So there's a little bit here about growth and boundaries, but there's a lot here about abundance. I'm going into the direction of this masculine and I'm recognizing that a gorgeous foundation is developing for me. As I trust in prayer and reflect on the good things, I will um, <clears throat> accept the path that is unfolding. I will not fear it beautiful message okay so now we're going to get into the area of love and romance for the collective libras and for that reading i've been guided to the osha zen tarot deck so dear lord spirit guides and angels please bless whichever libra needs to hear this spiritual uh, guidance most in the area of love and romance for the month of august of 2024 Okay, so there's a little bit of confusion here at the beginning of August. There could even be a little bit of fantasy and illusion, thinking that someone or something is better or worse than it truly is. In the thoughts position, you are this King of Pentacles, Libra, or you are in connection with someone who's in a leadership position. I'm feeling more so this is you thinking about caring, giving, providing, and supporting others. This is you coming into an awareness of uh, leadership. It's up to you to create an abundant path in relation to others at this time. And so it's important not to project something that isn't. So they're saying you are abundant, you are stable, you are secure, you have accomplished a lot, you've been a provider, a nurturer, and so on. And in your foundation, we have clinging to the past. Oh my. So this author says, when we cling to the past, we become a blockhead. Do not project a certain person or situation to be any better or worse than it was. The past is in the past position. So I do feel like there could have been a Libra that was thinking about the past, who is now thinking, I think, about connecting with others and how your creativity is putting you in this position of the King of Pentacles, male or female, a stable, secure, um, <coughs> and financially stable position. Now, around mid-August, we do have the Six of Swords, so we have some form of burden. Needing to find solace when it comes to the past. Somebody's not letting go. And in your actions position, we do have something unexpected with the Tower card. There could be just an unexpected awareness in August here for a Libra. I'm even thinking a more masculine Libra who's thinking about the past and it's making them maybe feel burdened. In the spiritual assistance position, Spirit is saying we are helping you to take this full energy and to manifest forward movement. Because this fool is going backwards into the direction of burden and fantasy and illusion and being a blockhead because they haven't let go of the past. It's time to move forward successfully. Take what you've learned and move on. In the hopes and fears position, we do have like a fear of maybe detangling from a soulmate with those roots connected or maybe a, a hope that uh, something friendly will turn into more here. But don't be the fool. Don't go into the direction of burden and fantasy in the past because Spirit's saying we are going to send you signs and we want you to remain very, very receptive. For by the end of August of 2024, you're going to recognize that it is indeed time to uh, detangle from one soul connection and to move forward with the fool and manifest uh, the next chapter 
of your life. Some may be thinking about uh, this Queen of Cups energy towards the end of August of 2024. Someone who has strong water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a soulmate connection with the Two of Cups. Coming together and celebrating an unexpected opportunity to start fresh. So in a three card summary, we have a coming to the awareness of a playful situation, but recognizing that you've mastered the journey of the tests of the past. That there is a path ahead of you that you may feel uh, you're not ready for. Maybe with the five of pentacles having to do with earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but spirit saying you have the key in your pocket to move forward into a path of success with the number six of harmony of victory yes yeah, someone from the past were by there with some form of heartache may show back up unexpectedly with the tower energy and the fantasy and illusion card so spirit saying be careful of that it's time for a breakthrough it is time for you to shine Trying to get to the truth of the situation regarding maybe a uh, queen of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, like yourself. Regardless, spirit saying, get out of your head, free yourself from troubling thoughts. Here you are by the end of August of 2024, setting and meeting goals day to day in a very balanced way. Spirit's giving you the strength to move on from the burdens of the past and to connect with maybe a very feminine, nurturing, motherly type energy with the Queen of Cups. Yes. Kind words and messages will continue to come from the right person. That will eventually free you from maybe the guilt of the past. Someone's postponing a situation because of the past. Pretty basic. So I think I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Remember, with the full energy, you can now push beyond the burdens of the past and manifest not only a, a greater, more successful position for yourself, but a nurturing connection with someone that is a very playful soulmate. And it's just taking you a time to come into an awareness uh, that the worries, the fears, the concerns in the background here are burning away and it's time for you to overcome those obstacles and with Spirit's assess assistance with the chariot, Spirit's going to help for you to go forth successfully. So messenger of emotion is what Spirit wants to talk about. It almost looks like there's an unexpected surprise or communication, which is exactly what we talked about in the actions position, the unexpected with the tower. This card says, Libra, this is the beginning of a brand new emotional experience that could grow into something so much greater, greater abundance, greater joy, greater playfulness and love. Some of you during the month of August of 2024, Libra may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. Be careful of fantasy and illusion or things, people tied to the past. But there is a person involved who's very gentle with this Queen of Cups type energy. Very loving, with only the kindest of intentions. Yeah, things are speeding up. A lot may be going on. You may feel a little bit overwhelmed in the month of uh, August, but you're going to be enjoying the work that you love. Remember to express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that will be taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. It's time to be out with the old and in with the new. It's time for a wonderful new emotional experience for you. New this card says heaven is showering, uh, showing you a sign that it's time to move into a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy or you feel a lack of purpose in your life. Now this is a wake up call to make the changes that match your true heart's desire. Your desires and your spiritual truths. So dig deep in the month of August. For the path ahead is definitely involving a soulmate. And the path behind can only cause burden. 
Should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the summer special which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you to those of you who have come to me for the summer special and who have continued to come to me for additional spiritual advice. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes, your shares and those subscribes but most importantly I want to say a super big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.